Today I'm going to show you how to change the foliage to mimic the fall colors or the fall color change in the leaves. Um, somebody had left a comment in a previous video and said, hey, I'd love to see if you can show me how to change the leaf colors and where I live they don't change and I'm kind of in the same boat here in Arizona. Our fall color actually probably happens somewhere around January if it ever happens at all. So I'm going to show you how to take a photo like this and do something like this just so it looks a little bit more like fall. So to get started we'll just turn that off and what you're going to do, if you followed my other videos, I'm going to use a plugin for this so it makes it super easy. So go over to Nick. Uh, if you go into Google and just type in NIK, it'll take you to the site and you can download it for free, install it. But anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to... I made a couple copies of the bottom layer here, so that's all that was. So we'll delete those really fast. You'll just hit Command J to make that duplicate layer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Filter, Nick Collection, and Color Effects 4. So once we're in this, we're actually going to go over to this option, the Indian Summer piece. And then over here, there's a couple different color variations. And we're going to do this a couple times just so we get some different variations. Because if you look at that, that doesn't look super real and we also don't want it down here so let's just start with the red so we'll click OK so just for now what we're going to do is we're going to option click the mask icon right here that's going to put a black mask we're going to go back down to this layer copy that we made we're going to go back into Nick Color Effects Pro And we're going to change this from red to maybe that yellow color. And then same thing, we'll just click that, option click that layer mask to make a black, light, or a black mask. We'll go back into Color Effects Pro one last time. Maybe we'll go to this gold color this time. All right, and so last one. So now what we're going to do is we have each of these layers on their own layer mask, and we're just going to go through. We're going to hit the B tool to get our brush, or we're going to click right here. We're going to lower the opacity and the flow, and we're just going to go in here and paint white on some of these trees. And because that Let's turn this up quite a bit. And because that filter only affects the foliage, you don't have to worry about masking out the sky like you would with a hue and saturation adjustment. And we're just going to be random with this, and then we'll go into the other one. Same deal, B, white. And we'll just go in and paint some of this stuff. And now I shot this at a lower aperture, so my trees aren't super clear. If you take this and your leaves are more in focus, you'll get more of that detail in. Honestly, living in the desert in Arizona, we don't have a huge selection of trees like this to go in and get like a great backdrop to take as like a base sample image. So these are actually just down the street from my neighborhood in the park and it's kind of the best I could do for for this tutorial. So maybe we'll get a little bit more red places. So if you pull up some stock images of fall color, it'll help give you some like reference, but everything that I saw it was basically different variations of reds to yellows to greens. And then you can group those in. So now that we kind of have the base color there, we'll just group those into a group. And that's with it. But I mean, 
for a couple quick steps. And that pretty did a pretty good job of faking what fall color would look like in a park in Arizona. So hopefully this helps. If you're in an area that doesn't see the leaves change this time of the year and you see all your friends from other states posting photos of fall color, give this a try. If you have any ideas for future videos, please uh, leave them below.